One of the steps in uh, making one of these screw clamps is to drill these holes on the top and the bottom. Now look, I made mincemeat of these. I built this little thing on there and I just clamped it to that and hand held it. That's where I did the damage. So this time I thought I'd be a little bit more scientific. And what I've done is I put that backing board there to be able to just snug this up against it. I've actually clamped this whole, uh, vice to the bench. Bit of stuffing around trying to get this right set up right because naturally drilling on a 15 degree angle is a bit critical. However, what I've done is I've set the fence so this is now this um, clamp system which holds a 15 degree block that I used on the previous uh, um, 12 incher. <coughs> it's now as I said on the center of that um, piece down the center line there it's set on at the moment it's now set on the first spot I'm going to drill every one of those the four of those with this jig set up that way then I'm going to reposition it to drill the 15 degrees down the bottom um, then the 15 degrees there and the 15 degrees there flip it over and we'll see where it happens where it goes okay let's go Turn it on, turn it on. I've got a 10 mil brad point bit here. It's one of these, uh, oh, hang on, one of these, it's a bloody expensive one, but one of these little Japanese made, hang on, can you see that? Japanese made ones. It's got all the little uh, wings on the side, the brad point, and it just produces a beautiful cut. Oh God, I'm tripping everywhere. Oh, let's see, take it off. I do like this business, it takes a lot more effort to clamp these things up. Oh, come on, why won't to clamp it up, but there you have it, um, that is one neat, oh by the way you're only supposed to drill down to that hole, not all the way through. Alright, um, again I shall now reposition, I'm not going to bore you with how I do that. Um, I might have to lo actually lower this table, in fact I think I will have to, but it's really just a case of lining it up. Uh, in fact, I'll have to lower it quite a bit, oh, not quite a bit, but yeah. All right. When drilling, you certainly have to watch the bloody orientation and not get a lapse in thought like they are with this one. I actually should have put it on like that, but I put it on like that. Or was it the other way around? I can't remember. But I drilled a hole in the wrong spot and really um, the only way I could do it that's right I should have put it on like that to drill the hole but then I put it back on and sorry I drilled the hole there I finished up I really drilled it the next hole but I finished up getting on the lathe turning a uh, 10 mil plug um, and yeah, I'm glued in, I'm waiting for it to dry, and then bloody idiot me realised, oh shit, I've actually got a 10 mil plug cutter, but, oop, there it is, and actually it's a bloody good high quality plug cutter, in fact I might cut a plug and show you, but that's already been put in, glued into place, so it's going to stay there. 
after cutting these, uh, or cutting, drilling these holes, this middle part might uh, be worthwhile to be hogged out. So I've actually set up the drill press in this configuration using these bits, as I said, they act like a Forstner bit, and they will actually work quite well on little gaps like that. This will, I've, I've set it up so I can do all the holes on that side for all of them. Then I'll recalibrate and put it over to this side. Uh, but yeah, as you'll see, it uh, does quite a good job of it. Um, I've got auto start on my drill press. As you can see, it'll actually hog all that out. In fact, I probably could even go. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Oh. So, yeah. Um, I might just do that. Another one done. Oh. Oh, hey, what? There's got to be a better way for dust extraction on a drill press. Okay, back at the drill press, I've got the depths set for it. I've actually got the auto start on, which means that when I lower the uh, quill, I've got to actually line up the hole visually. I can't use pre-position it because uh, the drill automatically starts, as you can see. It's set for the depth, so... Wait for it to stop, get it roughly near me. And the beauty of these drill bits, I don't actually have to um, really hold on to that that tight because it goes through so smoothly, it's unreal. So, it just, bugger, come on. Here we go. As you can see, it just goes through it like butter. The only problem is, I still haven't, look at that, beautiful hole. I haven't actually mastered the dusty extraction at the same time. So, it's got to be manual. Um, I'm sure there's a way I could do it, but... Uh, Oh, good. Anyway, that's it. For all it's worth, um, the holes I'm drilling there and in there, those two positions, are actually 9mm designed for these type of clamps so they can be clamped down using those holes. The holes on the side there are designed for... Where, where, where the hell did I put it? Oh, here we are. These clamps, which are much larger, so they can go through there. Um, why I did that, I've got no idea. Um, however, the simple fact that when you clamp it that way, you're, you've got the handles and everything else coming out. So I suppose I can get greater strength from these um, than these. Although I can still use these, there's no reason why I can't. But I do believe I can probably get greater strength there. And on the edge there, well look, if worse comes to worse, I can, I don't know, we'll see. But 
Anyway, that's the main reason for the difference in the home.